Good afternoon everyone, my name is Adam, welcome back to another tier list video. In today's video we're going to be, uh, me and the boys are going to be ranking the MCU characters on strongest to, uh, to well, to weakest I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you agree with my uh, with mine and the boys tier list in the end, comment below, tell us what you think. And uh, like if you want to see more content, subscribe to uh, stay update my videos and yeah, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Alright, okay, so I've, I've got a tier list here Ben. <laughs> oh really? Who is that? Oh, it's Iron Man with the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, that doesn't really count. So we have Doctor Strange. Where does Doctor Strange go on the tier list of, of power? See, he's all about peace. I don't know. Uh, he's still got some good powers. I think he's quite high. I think he can he's... cut people in half with his like portals. I think he's high. So the, there's... All right. Can I change that? I can. Cool. So we've got infinite power. That's so stupid. I'll just put um, strongest. We'll have one person up there. So, <laughs> so we've got strongest, almost strongest, high, mid to high, mid, low to mid, and then low. I think Doctor Strange deserves high. He's pretty powerful. He is very powerful. He just doesn't use his powers for destruction okay. or anything, does he? And then we've got Vision. Where does Vision go? I think Vision's also high. <sighs> yeah, he could be, but he's just a bit of a wimp, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not amused. Vision? <laughs> to be fair, Vision Vision doesn't really have a mind of his own. Oh, he, he does now, but before it didn't have a mind of his own. He was just kind of like this... This, like, emotionless being that was had a mind stone in his head. Right. Then we got Hawkeye. I think Hawkeye's pretty low. <laughs> He's low. <laughs> He's the lowest. I'm sorry, Hawkeye, but he, he doesn't have any powers. He's just he's just a guy who can shoot straight with his arrows. And now we have Bucky. He's like medium, medium to. Is that medium or mid too high? Because there's mid to high, mid, low mid, and then low. I think maybe middle. low mid. Low mid. <laughs> He's not that powerful, is he? Also on this list we have um. Uh, I can't remember what her name is. The the girl from uh, Black Panther, the one with the spear, the bald lady. Uh, low. Or Koyo, isn't it? You think she's low? Yeah, low. She don't count as an Avenger. <laughs> well, she was at the last fight. <laughs> no, she don't count. I, mm, yeah. Does she have powers or is she just good with a spear? No, she just has a spear. So she's low tier. <laughs> and then we have... Yeah. I'll say she's below Hawkeye. Below Hawkeye? Well, I've yeah. got them both on the same the same the same tier. They're both lowest. Did you see Hawkeye in Avengers One? He was still pretty good. He held his own to be fair. Yeah, he was so on top you, of a building shooting everyone down. Are you making a case to put Hawkeye low to mid? And then put Aquaria yeah. low? <laughs> yes. Right, where does Bucky? I think Bucky what is Bucky the same level as Hawkeye though? I think he's middle. He's mid. Yeah. A solid middle. Uh, Wanda's next, but we'll leave that to the end. <laughs> we'll have Groot. Where does Groot go? Big boy Groot. Tree boy. He's not that. He's not that strong. Bark boy. I think he is. He's got. You know. He's, he's, he's a very. He's very strong physically, and he's. He can like. You know. He can't really die, can he? Can he die? Have we? No, he didn't. Did he? He've turned into baby Groot after. He can make himself regrow. I think Haw I think Groot's above uh, Bucky, but yeah, below Doctor Strange. And then we've got Rocket Raccoon. Where does Rocket Raccoon go? I don't really think he's worth putting on the list. He's not really an Avenger, is he? He's just got a gun. It's his MCU characters. I just got all of them up because the, the one that I had before was too, too limited. Eh... Yeah. He's about the same level as fucking Spearwoman. <laughs> okay. But, no, but he, to be fair, he's good with uh, tech and that, isn't he? But are we talking about physical strength here? And, like, abilities? I don't really he's... know. Powers-wise, but he hasn't really got powers either. He's just a raccoon with a gun. <laughs> he's just a raccoon with a... Bradley Cooper. Poor Bradley Cooper. All right, and now we have Loki. Where does Loki go? I think Loki... Mm... Is Loki above Doctor Strange? To be fair, though, Doctor Strange trapped Loki in that, like, portal, you know, and left him falling for 30 minutes. I have been falling 
For 30 minutes. I don't think Loki's that strong. He's just good at persuading people. Yeah, but to be fair, he did become the main villain of Avengers 1 and basically almost wiped out Earth. So would you put him below Doctor Strange with Groot? Yes. yes. I agree. Okay, what about Thanos? See, I don't think Thanos is actually... Where? I think... Or, I mean, he took out the Hulk, didn't he? And Hulk's pretty powerful. I mean, he's, he's obviously above Bucky. He's above Groot. He's above... Is he above Doctor Strange, though? He beat him in a fight. Where he's able to take all of his, like, them stupid things. I don't know. I don't really get what all, his, all them orange things are, really. Or are, are we reserving the strongest tier for just one person? Yes. We will put um we'll put Thanos almost strongest, so he's the tier below yeah. the strongest tier. I mean he got beaten at the end of the day. Does that mean he's he is the strongest? If if no one person was able to beat him. Yeah, but that... yeah, but one person one person yeah, was yeah, able to. Yeah, but so Thor almost beat him as well. <laughs> yeah, but if it wasn't for him having all that army, Wanda would have beat him. Yeah, but if Thor just aimed for the head, he would have killed him. Well, that's a, that's an argument for a few, for a few minutes away. The next one is uh, Mantis. Where does Mantis go? She's not that great. She can just put people to sleep. Yeah, but is she with? But she has powers. Is she better than Hawkeye? To be fair, she does nearly put Thanos to sleep. So she, puts, she is. She does put Thanos to oh, sleep. Oh, the, the fucking Star Lord ruins it all. We put we put. So that means that is she on the same tier as Thanos? If she's able to put Thanos to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to put the same tier as Thanos. So you'd, you'd put her as almost the strongest, so a tier above Vision and Doctor Strange. Well, she's she's one of the ones that got close to beating Thanos. This is a hot take, this is. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good power to be able to, like, mind control people and put I think she's I think she's the same as Loki. Do you really? Mid Maybe. to high. We'll, we'll put her there, then. Um, Spider-Man. I think he's high tier. I think he's on the same level as Doctor Strange and Vision. <laughs> Above Groot, Loki, and all Loki. He must be, because I remember, I remember believed in him. So I think he is about high, he is high tier. Is he higher than Loki? Or does Loki deserve to be moved up to the same level as Doctor yeah, Strange? Lo no, I don't think. I think Loki belongs where he is. I think, think Spider-Man. You yeah. think Loki, a I don't god. Think Lo Loki's not that great. You think Loki, a god, is less powerful than Doctor Strange? Yeah. Oof. I, I think Loki seems a bit out of place down there, you know? But we haven't seen enough of Loki, really, have we, until we've seen the Loki show. I mean, we've seen him quite a bit. We saw him in Thor 1. Yeah, but not, not himself. We've, we've seen him like, as an addition. He's, he's never really been like... I don't know. I, I, think, I, think, I think we'll see more of his powers in Loki. We'll put Spider-Man high tier. He's got potential. Yeah. Captain America. I think high he's tier. also high tier, yeah. No argument. Right, Nebula. Yeah. What about Nebula? She's not that great. She's just a Black Widow, isn't she? She's green, black widow. So we'll, oh, no, I'm no, thinking of Gamora. Um, I'm ne thinking of Gamora. Yeah, Nebula's, Nebula's not that great though. Uh, what about? So she's same same level as Hawkeye. Yeah. Well, I'd, to be fair, I'd say Nebula's the same level as Black Widow and Gamora because the the three of them are the same people, really. So are we putting them the same level as Bucky? Yeah. Bucky and Gamora go alongside Bucky in mid tier. All right. What about Yondu? I think he deserves that spot as well, mid tier. Yeah, yeah. Cause to be fair, the arrow thing's like pretty powerful. Does that make does that make him the same tier as Groot and Mantis? I don't really know. Are they are they top higher than Bucky? Yeah, though Lo Groot and Loki and Mantis are all higher than Bucky. Bucky's mid. I'd put him same level as Bucky. Next one is Drax. I think Drax is also mid to high alongside Groot. Yeah, because he'll. I think he'll be alongside Hulk. Hulk, you're putting Hulk below. Ca I think Hulk's a high tier like strength character. To He's be fair. not though, is he? I think he is. All right, next one's War Machine. What about War Machine? He's, he's about <laughs> the same as Bucky. Mid, mid tier, fair enough. Yeah, I'm down for that. Okay, what about Hulk? I think high. I think he deserves a spot in high tier. He's not stronger than Thanos because yeah. Thanos kicked his ass. So I think he's high yeah, tier. Yeah, put him in high. He could definitely take out um Groot. Oh, he took out Loki. To be fair. Yeah. And I think he, he, he could probably take high. Drax out as well, yeah. He, alongside Captain America, Vision, and Doctor Strange. Right. Yeah. What about our boy Black Panther? I, think I don't mid, like him, but I, I think... Mid to mid, high, yeah. yeah. Alongside Drax and Groot. Yeah, he'll, right, he'll do there. Uh, what about Dormammu? Um, oh, I remember. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. 
We haven't seen enough. I, I don't really, I don't really get why he's on the tier list. Have know. we seen enough of him? I think he, we'll, uh, we'll we'll put him alongside Serta, I guess. We'll move, we'll come back to that one. Right, Black Widow. I think she's alongside uh, Hawkeye. Gamora, Low to mid. Oh, Gamora. Well, yeah, because they're all the same person, really, aren't they? We're putting uh, Haw and Black Widow at the same level as Bucky. Shit. Yeah, I think so. Does that mean that that Hawkeye deserves to move up? I don't think Hawkeye shit. I think there's a strong case yeah. to be made for Hawkeye. No, leave him down there. I think Hawkeye with swords is definitely better than Hawkeye with their arrows. All right, Ant Man. Same level as <sighs> Black Widow. Don't forget, he's got Giant Man as well. Even though he faints after. I've got something big. I can I can only hold it for a few moments though. Then I have to pass out. <laughs> I have to go to sleep. That's definitely a, a, a innuendo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about um Peter Quill's dad? Oh, he was pretty pretty powerful to be fair. High tier. Alongside Hulk. Yeah. Um, right, what about Hella? Oh, her. With the yeah. old swords. Reindeer head. She's pretty powerful, to be fair. I think she's up there alongside Thanos, because she, she wasn't able yeah, to be defeated without, um, without the help of, like, Serta. And she destroyed um, the hammer. She did. She did. Alongside Thanos, almost strongest. But that means that Serta's got a bit there as well, because Serta was able to defeat Hela. Is that just because of his sheer size, though? Maybe. All right, we'll put him along. We'll put Serta alongside. These are gods, though, so you know it's a tough one. What about the Wasp? She's definitely alongside Ant Man. Yeah, definitely. Falcon. This bit, this fly boy. I think low to mid alongside Hawkeye. Yeah, definitely. Um, Chris Pratt. Falcon. You think low to mid? So you think Black Widow is better well, than... No, Hawkeye level. Hawkeye level is below uh, Black Widow. Yeah, don't, he's, he's, not a, he's not that great, is he? He's just a goof. In a fight between the Winter Soldier and Chris Pratt, who's going to win that fight? Yeah, but not him himself. It's only because the whole of the Guardians of the Galaxy is like a group. We're putting him below Nebula, below Gamora. No, maybe same level, actually. Okay. Uh... Ultron, I think high tier. It's a yeah. it's above mid to high. He's high tier. Whack yeah. him in there. Right, Iron Man, mid. High. High. You're mid. You th yeah. high, you, you're putting him above uh, Groot, Loki. Yeah, but we put War Machine in mid as well. But is Tony Stark better with the suit? That's the thing. Well, he has better suits. Yeah, high tier. Alongside Spider Man, Captain America, Hulk. Ultron. Yeah. All right, fair enough. So high. I think no. Right? I think in a fight, Spider Man beats out Iron Man. Probably. But I'd still put him high tier. Now we are left with Thor, Captain Marvel, and Scarlet Witch. Captain Marvel's behind, underneath the two, or underneath Thor and Scarlet Witch. Shush, she's alongside Thanos. Yeah. Hella and Serta. Yeah. And because she we're... didn't beat she didn't beat Thanos, so she's sort of the same level as Thanos. I'm trying to but remember the, two, the fight. Um Thor and Scarlet Witch basically nearly beat him. What did um Captain Marvel do during that fight? I know she held his glove the uh, infinity gauntlet open. She flew she flew through the spaceship and then Oh yeah, she did. She to be fair, she took out that whole ship. Yeah, but I mean, I think Scarlet Witch could take out the ship, really. So, so could Thor. Yeah. I don't think she's stronger than Thor. No, she's stronger than Thor. So at the moment, we have the two Avengers on top of Thor and Scarlet Witch. There can only be one, so we've got to move one of these bad boys down. I think it's Thor deserves to stay Thor's on top. Down. No, Thor. Oh, I don't Thor's think he does. I think in a fight, Thor wins against Scarlet Witch. I don't think so. No, because Scarlet Witch could just mind control him. Yeah, but would that work, though? It happened well, before. I would it think so. It happened in Age of Ultron, but it happened to all the Avengers. The, yeah, but to be fair, <laughs> the, the, the only one that didn't work on was Hawkeye. So that, by that logic, you're putting Hawkeye on the top tier. <laughs> no, because she could just use her powers another way to, to, to stop him. I think you've got to admit, Scarlet Witch is the strongest. No, the... <laughs> <laughs> the only edge that, that Scarlet Witch has over Thor is the mind control thing, because everything else... I and never... she could wipe him to a different dimension. Thor could just use the, the Bifrost to come back with his with his axe. Only if the guy's at the gate. 
No, he can. He doesn't have to be at the gate. <laughs> I don't. I he don't can, think so. I he don't. can. <laughs> he can open the Bifrost with his axe, just like without without um. What's his name? Idris Elba there. Oh, I think Scarlet Witch is the strongest. Yeah, you know, is that just because she beats Thanos? But then Thor beats Thanos. <laughs> Thor cut off Thanos' head. Thor technically killed him. You'd be let him, basically. He just sort of sat there and just accepted his death. And then <laughs> accepted his death. Head off. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I just don't think Scarlet Witch is like physically strong enough to beat Thor. Yeah, but it's not about physical strength. It's about the powers. Yeah, but uh, my argument is, is if 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 Scarlet Witch goes to like smack Thor, right, with powers or without powers, she's not going to like wipe him out in one hit. If th if Thor's just got to turn around and swing his axe and they get one good hit in, and then she's dead. That's that's not power wise. What about his powers? Well, he's got. He's. I think his powers. Are, he's a god for Christ's sake. He's better than Wanda. <laughs> he's not. Thor goes to the uh, the hex now, and he he could he could stop it all immediately. I don't think he could. Scarlet Witch is a witch. Yeah, but so is Agatha Harkness. But you know, Agatha Harkness's mind controlled Wanda. I think I think you I think you want to admit it, Scarlet Witch. But it's not just, Scarlet you just, Witch. You want to admit it's her, but you just I, you just want it to be Thanos. You want it to be Thor. I've made the case for Thor being the strongest Avenger since Ragnarok came out. That's before Wonder Vision when you've realised all of Wanda's powers. Yeah, but have we seen all of Thor's powers? Wanda, yes, he's got like, he's he's got a hammer slash axe and some strength, and he can shoot lightning. Some strength, bro. He... Oh. <laughs> I think their powers are pretty equal. But the only edge that Thor has is that he's he's like physically stronger and more durable, and he's a god. He's and like Wanda and Wanda could just wipe him away. I don't think she could just wipe him away though. I don't think that's. I'm that's pretty not sure gonna she happen. could. That's not going to happen. I'm pretty sure she could. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, is, has Thor fought anyone similar to Scarlet Witch before? Scarlet Witch on her own. This is the first time actually seeing her powers, really. Other than, like, Endgame. I've I've seen a lot of cases for Scarlet Witch being the strongest Avenger. But I don't know she if that's all... I don't, I don't know if that's all fangirls, Ben. Are you, are you a Wanda fangirl? <laughs> I'm not a fangirl. I just know when I see the strongest Avenger. <laughs> it's definitely Thor. I know... I know when I see it, Adam. I would say we'll we'll uh, we'll ask Sam to answer the question. Be answering Wonder Division yet? No, nah, we've got to do it now. He's got he's got a f he's he's got to answer it now. A few moments later. I know. I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm gonna come out and say it. After today's episode, I didn't realize because I, I was under the impression that Wanda didn't create it all. But when see, when hold on, shut up, Ben. I'm trying to put, I'm trying to like come at it. <laughs> When when um <laughs> when um when Agatha did the uh, whole thing where she was like it's actually really hard to do like a simple transformation like a beetle into a bird. Huh? No, I'm not coming out as if I'm gay. <laughs> no, I'm 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 trying to say. I'm trying to say that, that I have after last way. episode, Wanda is is stronger. Oh, bro, we're so proud of you. Thanks, boys. I'm gonna put Thor down on the. I've just loaded up the tier list. I'm gonna put him down on the uh, on the tier list. Actually, I might make a new I tier you. just for yeah, Thor. We told you, How do I make a new tier? You can't just make a new tier. No, you can't make a new tier. <laughs> Following the original tier list. Who's on that level? Thanos, Hela, um, Surtur, Captain Marvel, and Thor. Wanda is insane. I'm glad you're coming out too, bro. Thor. There we go. <laughs> His sister mugged him off. <laughs> can't believe she, fuck, all the things she you're is. Out, she must think What's you're he, really cool. So you spoke about being gay twice. Um, <laughs> I think Vision's got a lot more powers than he's shown. He's just a dumbass, really, though, isn't he? Poor Vision, Christ. What? Mate, in Infinity War, he just gets shanked and he's done. Well, not a lot of the heroes could do much about it, to be fair. He got surprised. Like, he was trying to take Wanda back to the train station, so, I mean, he's not going to expect this fucking sword wielding guy running around the corner and stabbing him in the back. <laughs> To be fair, he is a lot more powerful than he seems. Well, he, like he, he was the reason they beat Ultron, wasn't he? I see, how Wanda destroyed his Infinity Stone. <laughs> Thor hasn't destroyed an Infinity Stone. I've already made the argument, Ben. It's, it's, stop, <laughs> once you've made the sale, stop selling.
Also, to be fair, we could have put Hulk up there because he survived the click. None of oh, you the mean... others Avengers could have. No. I think Thor could have. He's... Yeah, but why didn't he volunteer? He did. Wait, but... He did, he did, wash but they told, him, they told him to back down because he was, like, emotionally no. unstable. I think Thor, Thor was the first That's to volunteer because he was a god, and then they said, nah, bro, you're not in a mental state to do it, so they told him to sit down. No, Hulk's was because Hulk's was he has made a gamma radiation. That's what the Infinity Stones are. <gasps> he sits in the film. He does, he does. yeah. There's things like... <laughs> it's very difficult to say because there's things like Ant-Man, who's really low, but at the same time, Ant-Man would be much more powerful than like Black Panther if he was big because Ant-Man can turn big. Yeah, but we said that you don't. You can only use it for a certain amount of time, and then he passes out afterwards. I guess so. Because Black Panther's only really, really good once he gets that new suit. Yeah, without that, he's a bit useless. Yeah, once he got that um the suit that did the explosion thing, I thought it was. I think Spider Man should be a tear down, personally. On mid to high. Uh, alongside, um, Captain America. Well, I, I... But putting Spider Man on the same level as. Vision is just well. Right. Then I think Cap. I think Cap Spider-Man. should move down. Then yeah, Cap should Cap's move strong. down as well. Cap. I think Cap's stronger than Spider-Man. No, I don't think he is. Yeah, but there's no mid-tier between there, is there? There's no. I don't think Cap's stronger than Spider-Man. The problem is Spider-Man's. Uh, he's quite weak compared to the rest of the Avengers. He's kind of just a side guy. I don't think he's that weak. I think he's stronger than. Well, he's he's beaten some of them in fights. He beat Bucky in a fight, didn't he? And Falcon together. And that was his first outing. <laughs> Who's next to Hela on the, Serta. the third one? He's uh, the demon from Ragnarok. The fire demon. I don't know why he was there. Yeah, what? I don't think he's very powerful. He's what? not that powerful. I think he is because he managed to kill Hela. And Thor couldn't kill Hela. Wait, so why is Thor above Hela? Yeah, but that was before he got the axe. Yeah, but... So what is Thor without the axe then, Adam? Well, Thor has yeah. the axe in that picture, so that's why we're counting him with the axe. Surely we should base it on like the whole of Thor, so when he had the hammer also. What, with the hammer as well as the axe? Well no, not with both. Well I don't know I don't <laughs> what know don't what we? I don't know what you're saying then. Because I don't know. I don't think you should base it on his weapon, surely. Uh, no, I think uh, Captain America as well. I think we should base it where they're at their strongest and Thor was at his strongest because, in Infinity because War. his hammer isn't his power. His hammer isn't part of his powers really. It's just it helps him channel it and focus it. That's like saying Spider-Man without his web shooters. I think I, th I think Doctor Strange deserves to be where he is because he is actually pretty powerful. Or maybe a tier above. I think he might be on a tier above, to be fair. Yeah, because he's got the time stone as well. That's true. I mean, he took but, Thanos but, on, on a one But he did lose to Thanos. I don't think Thanos could have... Yeah, but I don't think Thanos could have done anything he did to get all them stones if it wasn't for him having his army. I think he, well, he, I think he could have. He did a pretty good solo job against Thor and Captain America. That old squid. But he did beat the Hulk up by himself with no help, and not, yeah, but and not, not everyone the, can do that. The Hulk's not as powerful as you think he is, though, is he? I think he, he I think he deserves to be up there. Well, he's strong. Well, the Hulk's pretty shit. No, but if you look it. at the level he's below, we've got Groot, Loki, Mantis, Drax, Black, and Black Panther. Captain America and Spider-Man. I think he wins against all of them. Probably, you know, maybe not Spider-Man and Captain America, but that's why he deserves to be on the level above them. Yeah, I think Hulk's on the right level. So but the way it works is everyone on the tier above beats, like, everyone in a fight the tier below them. It's a very tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. I think we're it's right on... with the Wanda at the top. I, I stand by yeah. that, and I think that's right.